What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I wanna talk about backhand timing and how you can improve yours. If you have proper timing, you're gonna be able to throw further with all of your discs and also throw with much more accuracy. So what it comes down to with your timing is making sure your upper body is in sync as far as your speed goes with your lower body. So if we're throwing a short shot, we don't wanna go slow with the legs and fast with the upper body or vice versa. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Uh, I actually see a lot of people do this and I even sometimes do it myself. When I need to throw a controlled shot but also throw it with power, I find myself looking like this. So that was really bad. And the reason it was so bad, it felt terrible, was because I went really slow with my legs and then really fast with my upper body for that throw with the arm speed. We wanna bring them together as much as we can and we're gonna work our way from the bottom up from putters to drivers. So I'm gonna throw a putter here and this is more for that 50 to 100 foot range where you wanna throw a shorter shot and I know personally, I don't really like to throw standstills. I feel like I have more room for error because I don't throw standstills all the time. So it allows me to have a normal run up that I'm used to or walk up and throw with accuracy and consistency. So we're gonna break out a KC Aviar and I'm gonna show you what that slower, lower with the slower upper looks like. So that's gonna be really useful for those shorter shots and for those up shots and maybe even some really short tee shots. So we're gonna bump up. I have different stabilities of mids here. I think this rule also applies with mid ranges um, and fairway drivers and putters depending on the stability. So if you're throwing a more understable disc, you need less arm speed, which means your legs should go slow just like your arms should. And then if you bump up to a more stable disc, then they're obviously all gonna need to move faster as well. So we're gonna bump up to an understable buzz and we're gonna do one more slow one so you guys can see what that looks like. So now we're gonna bump up to a little bit more overstable buzz. I know this one requires a little bit more arm speed, so I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. And then this one requires even more arm speed than that. So we're gonna to continue to speed up the legs and the arms in unison to the stability of the disc. And then this one's really overstable. If I'm throwing this disc hard, it's probably on a hyzer, and I wanna throw it really hard into a headwind and want a dependable fade. This is the disc I'm gonna go for is my DGA Quake. So this one's gonna look a lot faster, and I'm gonna throw it on a bit more hyzer. So it feels a lot more natural if you're throwing softly to go slow with your lower and if you're throwing hard to go faster with your lower. So we're gonna grab a couple distance drivers out of here and a couple of uh, a fairway driver and a control driver. We'll grab the cool ones for you guys. So we have a T-Bird here. So we're gonna bump it up to about where that stable buzz was Doing this drill is gonna require you to know your bag very well as well. So we're gonna go with a uh, straight T-Bird. And when you really fine tune this technique, you're gonna find yourself having a lot more control with your discs and you're gonna know your bag a lot better. Um, this is sort of a very straight to slightly understable orc. It requires the same amount of power as that T-Bird, so I'm gonna try and do exactly what I did with that T-Bird.
All right, guys, the battery died. We're back. We're going to do two Brinster Destroyers, two distance drivers that require a lot more arm speed and a lot more aggressive of a throw. So we're going to go quite a bit faster with the lower and then put a lot more arm speed behind it. We're going to keep it all in unison, implementing what we've been talking about, just cranking it up to high gear to 12 speed. So we're gonna go one more distance driver here, one more Brinster Destroyer. Again, we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive about it, a little bit more arm speed, but keeping it in sync with the legs, keeping it all together. A Little bit faster lower, a little bit faster upper. All right guys, so that's something that I'm gonna be practicing, especially at the slower speed. I feel like most players are decent at that when it's things are moving a bit faster. It just naturally happens that everything wants to move a little bit quickly when you wanna throw far. But when a lot of people wanna throw short, they don't necessarily slow their legs down as well. So I personally will be practicing with my putters and my mids, and I think that's really gonna help my upshot game, especially straight upshot game. Thank you for watching. This is Iceberg TV, and take care.